What is going on guys? We are here and you see this. Hooper, Heracross, Rotom, Jirachi. This is not OU, this is UU. So we got some juicy ass tier changes. Uh, Shout out to my man Ultra Balls. He whipped up a God Squad and the ladder didn't update yet. So never mind, we can't use this. So I plan to record with this team because the tier changes for UU are fire. Let me pause real quick and show you guys the new tier changes for UU. So I'll probably just record all you showed on live because yeah, the, the UU ladder isn't updated yet. But that's crazy that the changes for UU. Mega Gardevoir moved from OU to UU. Jirachi, UU. Um, okay, my champ, we don't care about that. Nihiligo, UU. Uh, Mega Galate, UU, which is crazy. Uh, Mega Ladi, UU, but it's gonna rise up. A lot of these mods are gonna get uh, either quick banned or tested. And yeah, some like Mega Ladi. I think it's just UU because it just came out, so the usage in the OU isn't enough. Uh, Dragonite, uh, never mind, move to OU. Heracross Mega, like I said, UU, I had that on the squad. There was another crazy mon, I think, I just can't remember which one. Yeah, Hooper Unbound Rotom. Oh, Mega Manectric is UU as well, that's that's cool. Mega Altaria is UU at the moment, that's crazy. But yeah, the Duck Suspect test is here. Um, I'm gonna use a team for, that I made. Not this chance the offerings, no. We're gonna use this team here that I whooped up. Um, it's kind of similar to like teams that I've used before, but I, I kind of like it. I'm 101 on the suspect ladder on this alt. Uh, I'm one, on another account. I was uh, 13 and one, but I lost the game to disconnection, so I think I will restart. Um, but yeah, we we got some HO here with Azalf. You can just leave with Scarf Lando. Hope that he goes for Taunt. Okay, he doesn't leave with Azalf. Why does he have Skarmory in Azalf? That makes no sense. Maybe his Azalf is Vortex Life Orb. Gee, what we're gonna do here is... We are basically forced to u turn out. If he's Helmet, it's gonna be a bit annoying. Yeah, we can just go Marowak here. SD Skarmory? Oh fuck, if he's max speed, I have a problem. I mean, I don't really have a switch in, right? So. He SD'd again for some reason. Like, he could have just blown me over. He ate. So he's defensive SD Skarmory. But select Berry. Wait, oh, is he not defensive? I don't know how he ate that up. But yeah, I got a really lucky burn there. Um, so he's gonna die to burn here. I can SD up. Because he's gonna die to burn. <laughs> yeah, that was a really unfortunate lucky burn. I don't know how he lived that. Maybe that's just Scum, Scum's natural bulk, but what if I had Flabless? I don't know why I SD'd it again. But he has the low ladder, so his play made not really, didn't really make sense. Um, if he has Pursuit, it's gonna be a bit annoying. I'm gonna go hard top of Bulu on this boy. No one clicks Iron Head here. Um, I gotta say, I'm really weak to Bishop. He goes for SD. Um, don't really get that play. But yeah, if he's, if he's Sash, I'm in trouble. But yeah, we're gonna go for superpower here. We can save our Z-move. He just goes for Sucker Punch, okay? So he's not Sash, he's Life Orb. We can save our Z-move. For like Katana or Heatran. But yeah, I'm definitely not staying in on this. This thing is actually really fucking annoying for my team. I'm gonna go Lando for now. Get off the Juicy Intimidate. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Um, I hope you all trying to get Rex and Ben Duck Tree or Ben Arena Trap. Yeah, we can u turn out here. And yeah, I might actually change up teams next game. Uh, Mega Tita is super good on this ladder. But I haven't built a decent... Like, I have one team with it, but I don't think it's that good. So I have to build again with that monster. I guess, I guess I'll just go to Pex. Um, yeah, my Pex is Black Sludge. Finally, we can use Black Sludge, no doggy. Okay, that was that at a fuck time because Grass turn boosted. But yeah, we can just... Um, shuffle Intimidates, go back into Lando, and then you turn again. Oh, he's SD, okay. Hmm. 
I mean, I could have just fished for Skull Burn. But now the grass turn is gone, so I should be fine. T crits me, okay. So much for that, I should be fine. So we can try to burn him here as. <clears throat> we do not get the burn. My best play is actually going Ladi. This is what I should have done earlier. He should go in a heat turn here, so I really want to double switch. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Lando here because even if he stays in, Lando is still a fine play. But he should really go in a heat turn here, in my opinion. Like, that's like the best play. Why would you not go heat turn? Okay, he's bad. He's bad. So he stayed into Leaf Blade a Ladi. Really interesting play. Um. Yeah, I shouldn't predict too much on a little ladder, that's my fault. So what I'm gonna do here is go Lari, um, just kill him with an Ice Beam. She so seems to want to sack off his Katana. He seems to be willing to sack off his Katana. Okay, so... Um, Zokatru is annoying. I mean, I have my Marrow Rag as long as he's not HP ground. I mean, not to go hard Landros on a Tail Glow. He goes hard for Dazzling Gleam, okay? So I sh what I should have done is go hard Marrow Rag. I think I like the Boomerang play because it goes uh, through a potential Focus Sash, but if I miss, I can lose. Okay, we do hit. Yeah, he's just gonna bone this. He's gonna kill me with a psychic stab, probably. Now he just forfeits, okay. Um, so I'm gonna use this again, but I kind of want to change up. I set up everything for a Hoopa background because I wanted to use Hoopa and Yu Yu, but yeah, can't use Hoopa and Yu Yu. Seems bad. Feels bad, man. <laughs> but yeah, this team I made it super fast. Like I do this often, and I'm just testing, so I don't know if it if it's any good. Have fun means have ha it means have fun. Like why the fuck did he say what the fuck? So yeah, I like this a lot because I have reflect type and they always try to lead sheet me. But I can't lead sheet me because I have reflect type. So I can reliable defog oh fuck, he's one of these guys. Fuck. This sucks. Because low ladder low ladder people that like Rocky Helmet Ferrothorn. So I can usually uh, reflect up so they can leech cheat me, and then I can uh, weaken them down with Ice Beam. And uh, default that spikes away, that's... I mean, Sea Wave is still better than being, um... It's better than being toxic, obviously, but it sucks. Uh, I don't know why I didn't lead off with Merrick, to be honest. Merrick had a good matchup versus, like... These three months, these three. Unless this is Continental Crush, I don't think it is. Uh, it's also depending on the Zard, I had a decent matchup. This guy's taking forever, yeah, I shouldn't be staying in here. I might just go hard Merrick, apply some offensive pressure. I only stayed in because I thought he would leech seed. Um, yeah, so usually he, sh he, he should just go into Greninja. These people are wild, so I'm just gonna fire punch. Like, it's the low ladder, I don't trust them at all. Like the the suspect ladder isn't high, so I know that there isn't like such a thing as like such such things like low ladder it doesn't really exist. That was like an awful sentence, by the way. Like the highest ladder is not even sixteen hundred yet. So like, if you're twelve hundred seventy, you're already on the ladder. But still, you can see from how yeah exactly this is what I meant. Like you can see, he didn't even know what have fun means. And see that's what I said. That's what I just told you guys a few seconds ago. They all run rocky helmet ferrothorn on the low ladder. I don't know what the fuck their fetishes with that. I said it's garbage. Um, so I think this is Ash going to place obviously the Pex here. I can also go Bulu, but like Pex is just the safest. He's Ash, he just pumps. Um, I would love a T spike, but he has a Gengar to absorb it. So we're just gonna scald here. Um, actually, hmm, yeah, I was about to say doubling that would have been a nice play on my part. Doubling into Ladias would have been a really nice play there, to be honest. Because uh, I just have to default. Now his Pharaoh is dead. 
These rocks are annoying. So if I don't get priority, I can get rid of the rocks. That would be amazing. Wait, he didn't mega evil. Oh, wait, I just realized that he has a Manectric in his art. What the fuck is going on? Like, see, you can tell from his team. It's just a weird team. It's, it should be Zard Y. Uh, Zard Mega Zard, not Mega Manectric. He get paralyzed, of course. As per usual. Um, we're gonna go packs here. But if he specs, this is gonna be really bad. But he's not specs. So we can actually just uh, Scald. He has Psychic. That does nothing. As long as he doesn't get a Spadef drop. A crit, we're fine, we get the burn, which is amazing. So hopefully he doesn't hacks us and we can heal off. He has Willow Wisp, so he might have hacks, but that's fine, we can just spam recover. Oh he has black slash, that sucks. I really wanna go Lando here on the on the hacks. I think he's gonna hex here. And even if he psychics we eat that up anyway. As he does go for Shadow Ball. Oh he doesn't have hacks, okay. So uh, we want to use on here because he has the Bulu in the back and he has um. But I like the off quick play overall better. Just in case he stays in, like I said, this guy's wild. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, I don't know why he made that play. So back into packs we go on the ice beam. I don't know why he would ever ice beam there, but yeah, he's just playing weird and bad. And what do you want to double into Lari here, pressing the Manectric to get off the Defog? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm go predict this Manectric onto Lari. He goes in the Bulu, but I still get my Defog off as. Uh, oh, he's bulk up. This is a threat. I keep getting paralyzed. Stop! So we're gonna go hard Jirachi here. My Jirachi is a Spadef, but it has enough speed for Jolly Top of Bulu. Just so we don't get fucked up by that. We have to add, run enough speed to outspeed it. And that did nothing because he bulked up. The grassy terrain just sucks here. I think I might have to U turn out. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have stayed in with my Lari and played around with this one. This one is really annoying. But I might had one more time. Yeah, okay. My Jirachi is well trained, so we can we can keep doing this because now the grassy terrain in it, so he's recovering a little bit less. And I don't think he can Oko me anyways. As we keep flinching. Yeah, my Jirachi is well trained. <laughs> yeah, Jirachi plus Merowak. I have the double Majuna checks on his team. But now he breaks out and he heals a good amount, which sucks. But if we get the flinch, we Gucci. And we get a crit. Whew, it's lit. Yeah, this team is weak to banter, like I said, because it can pursue Merowak and Jirachi. And Lady is reflective, so we can play around that, but still. Super weak to banter. I'm gonna go Pex here. If he's Zardex, we're in trouble. He's Zardex. Uh, the low ladder kids all love Zardex. So my play here is to spam Haze. I don't think he can Oko me. Maybe Earthquake killed because I'm Spadef. But yeah, Dragon Claw doesn't kill. So yeah, I'm gonna just spam Haze. That's my best play. It has more PP than Dragon Dance. And now I can just go into my Lander and click Earthquake. He has no switch ins. He might actually lift this because his Landris has some um, defense investment. So the Landris, this is a metabolic spread. I think it has like, I don't remember the exact number, but it's like 72 in bulk investment. So he can switch into and take two um, choice banded thousand arrows from Zygarde. But yeah, we can just, I mean, I want to go Bulu here, but if he ice beams, that's kind of bad. I'm still going to make the Bulu play. Yeah, he just dark pulls and he crits me. Uh, now we're gonna horn leech because even if he ice him, they wouldn't have oko me. I mean, with the crit, I would have. But yeah, if he ice him there, um, I could have still um, revenged him with um, U turn spam from Lando. If he goes hard ZX here, I have a problem. I disconnected. Oh, I really hope my internet didn't die because, like I said earlier, I already lost the game to disconnection. Oh, not like this. I'm gonna pause it real quick, but I think I'll lose this game because my energy just said no to me. I plug my thing in again. That really. This happened like three times today. Let me pause. So, yeah, as you guys can see here, we lost to this connection. Amazing. Um, only my bad internet is. My bad internet is back, not my good internet. So, um, I'm gonna see.
We're gonna get one more for sure. At least one more with this team and then a game with another team. But yeah, I'm already pissed because I probably have to make a new ult. Like losing a game this early is really bad. My goal is like at least go like 15-0 or 20-0. 21 or 22 is still fine, but like two more than th that, more losses than that just means I'm gonna make a new ult. It's just how I handle it myself when I try to get Rex. I got Rex so far for every single suspect that's in Sun and Moon. So, like, laddering is really annoying, um, but yeah, um, good advice if you guys, like, haven't gotten Rex yet, or like, if you are, like, newer to the game. Um, I really like waiting. Like, the suspect test is, uh, the ladder is open for, like, I think 14 days, or like, the ladder is available. For two weeks and i usually like to let on the second week and the last three days because it's it's it uh, gets a lot more it gets a lot easier then to sash bishop i figured he could be sash he adds it up so he's gonna sucker here what we're gonna do is um we're gonna go top of bulo on a sucker punch and then if i had sub this would be amazing but i don't have sub so we're just gonna click horn leech here and he doesn't even go for Sucker Punch, so amazing. We get out with a full health Tapu Bulu. The only problem is, since I lost that game, we're still super low on the ladder and... Whatchamacallit... Yeah, we like we don't really get our, like... We don't get better opponents because we lost points instead of gaining points. We don't lose anything from clicking a Fire Punch here. Well, technically, this could have been uh, Zorark, but it wasn't. So, yeah, if he's sick fed, it's gonna eat it up. But it's not sick fed. That took a lot. So, we're gonna blow this out the window. With another fire punch. I really love Merrick a lot. Um, but it's just annoying that you always have to defog. Okay, that was a quick one. <laughs> I'm gonna use this team. I used this in my Den Premier League game uh, week one match and I lost because I played when I was I played it when I was like 30 hours awake so I couldn't concentrate and then my Celeste I got crit and flinched and after that I, I threw the game away but yeah he see he said four legendaries you noob LMAO and he forfeited. <laughs> People like him are so fucking funny. <laughs> Wait, what? Four legendaries? What? I only have three. I have a Dianzi, I have a Coco, and I have a Mule. Garcham is a legendary in his book? Is Celestia a legendary, maybe? Is Celestia a legendary? Okay, I don't really remember the in game. Celestia might be. I haven't played them in game that much. But yeah, <laughs> that was funny. So we got a guy with like a decent team. That, that that was hilarious. He turns on the timer immediately, so he's about his business. He's not playing any games, but just gonna leave over the top of Coco here. Um we're gonna U-turn out to see if he's RX or Y. Oh I just realized this Toxapex is Shed Shell. If I'm playing on this ladder, I should make it obviously black sludge. Because Dougie's not allowed on this ladder. <laughs> he misses a fire blast, it doesn't really matter. I can get out my T-spikes here. I can go for Toxic if he wants to stay in. But now he's gonna switch, I should've gone hard for Toxic. Uh, he might go Lottie here, so Toxic's still a good play, but he just, just did that. Yeah, not having Black such sucks because I'm in Solar Beam range. And uh, yeah, now... I have to let my chump take a hit. I should have recovered, but I don't know why he stayed in. That was an ass play on his part. Just gonna go back to packs, get some regen. Yeah, not having backslash actually matters a lot. Uh, we don't have... Oh, fuck. We don't have... I forgot. We don't have Scald on this packs. So I wanted to try to burn him. He goes for that. Now he's gonna protect. Is they gonna protect or go to Zygarde? Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna just U-turn here. I'm gonna U-turn again. I know he might stay in, but okay, he stayed in well. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can just go pegs. He leeches. I go back to Coco. Like, he stole out my electric terrain. Good job. But it doesn't really matter at all. Unless he goes for heavy slam here. Then he's the goat. But he doesn't. So I'm gonna roost here on his protect. Yup. And now I'm gonna U-turn. He might stay in now because the terrain is gone. Uh, yeah, I mean, he already stayed in early when the terrain was up. But yeah, he goes in the Lari. So you get momentum. You can go in the Scarf Jump here. But he could also be Scarf Lari. So I like the DNC play a bit better. And... And just um, go for Moonblast here. Does he just get some damage on me? That's fine. Mm. I now have a free switch into my top of Coco here. And I'm really pissed that I lost that game to disconnection. I'm gonna roost here, predicting him to switch, but apparently he doesn't want to switch, he just goes for rocks. Uh, he should really go into Zygarde here, and I'm gonna predict that and go for HP eyes. Yeah, these people are fucking trash. Toxic. Oh, okay. This guy's fucking trash. I'm gonna go for my Z-move here. If he goes Zygarde now, he's good. But he goes sex off his Charizard. Okay, I wasted my Z-move. Feels bad, feels bad. But yeah, he forfeited anyways. I don't know why he forfeited at that specific turn because Zad itself wasn't winning that game. But yeah, if I want to use that team again, I'll make my um, Toxic Pack Shed Shell for sure. But do I have anything else that I want to use? Oh, this I already did a live with. This is what I, this, I made this myself. Um, let me pause real quick. Yeah, I really like that team a, a lot. So we're going to use it again. Just made it um, black sludge and all the toxic pack. We still got opponents with such weird teams, though. Leo with Coco here and go for U turn. Just hard into Salazila, and if he's Willowers, that's a good play. Like if he goes for that. I mean, Garwa, yeah, it's also, it's also one of the ones, like I said earlier, that has, that has a drop to Yu Yu. Shout out to Padla, by the way, juicy nicknames. These nicknames were supposed to bring me luck because Padla was a lucky horse, but. Yeah, instead I got hexed in my game after I just threw the game. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm never gonna agree again to play a game when I'm like 30 hours awake. I don't know what the fuck I was doing when I agreed to play. At that time, 7 in the morning, when I like didn't sleep all night. But yeah, we go Salsilla here. He has Thunderbolt. I was thinking that he didn't have it because... Um, it only makes sense to run it on your team when you have a Tapu Koko to pair it with. But I guess he just banks on the opponent having Electric Terrain. Or just in general, he wants to do some juicy chip to Salsilla. And uh, he has Moonblast instead of Hyper Voice. So yeah, you guys see this guy's like... He's like newer to the game probably. I don't want to shit talk him. But this sucks a lot. Um... I'm still gonna make the Coco play here. And now we can just go. Yeah, we can just go for Wild Charge. I don't wanna waste my Z move just yet. But it really sucks that. I need the points earlier. Like, let's, let me show you guys my rank. Yeah, I think now I'm 5 and 1 instead of 6 and 0. Oh. That's already pretty trash. If you wanna get Rex, like, it's better to prevent, like, you want to um, prevent... Like, you don't want to lose games early on. I already talked about this. Um, so we're going to HPI to break his... Sturdy in case he has counter. Is he toxic? Oh, that's ass. So I guess I'm going to waste my Z-move on this. Because if he's fifth death, regular Wild Charge doesn't kill. And I don't want to take the recoil. So the Skarmory should drop. And um, what he can do here is go on a Scarf and Fernape or Yeah, Scarf Zorog, whatever is Scar is a Scarf. I mean Zorog can only kill me if it has Sludge Bomb, I assume. So he goes on the floor just um kinda missing taunt on his Coco. But HPIs is just really cool. I oh wait, by the way, this was Taunt up a Coco. 
I change it to HP Ice. Because I didn't expect my opponent to bring stall. Edge base is just nice to hit Landris. Um, Ferrothorn is really annoying to this team, that's what it's... Like, otherwise the Yancy could be cool with HP Ice on this team, but HP Fire is needed, I think. But yeah, I don't really want to go Celestia, because the Rocks plus Moonblast eventually... Like, that, that will hurt. But we can just go to Pex here and... Toxic this boy. Uh, we can also just get up a T-Spike. Both is fine. But yeah, I'm gonna make this a longer video, like maybe an hour. And if you win every game from now on, I just hope my internet doesn't die again. If you win every game from now on, I can still use this all to give it to someone that's trying to get Rex. And uh, we can just go for infestation here. I don't know why Zorok is the counter to me. And now that we have our juicy Black Slash on deck, it's gonna do absolutely no damage. Uh, we can just go for recover here and then we can get up a second layer of T-Spike so the floor just gets um, badly poisoned. You get an accuracy drop, that's fine. Um, usually I'm not the biggest fan of this non-skull Toxapex, but it's fine. I have used teams like this a lot in my life, it's kind of getting repetitive, but... I like how the meta is without Ducky. And I just hate, like, when I want to build for this ladder, like, it's really enjoyable because you can, like, you can use Heatron without having to worry about Dougie. You can use the Anthe freely. Uh, you don't have to use Shetchel on your packs. You don't have to use Shetchel, Lily, or Hooper, stuff like that, if you want to deal with Stall better. It's really nice. The only thing that I don't like is, whatchamacallit, that, yeah, the tournament, or, like, in general, the tournaments like Ulti, Ducktree is still allowed in there at the moment. Until the Arena Trust Arena Trap Suspect is over. I, I assume it will get banned, but I'm obviously gonna do my best and I'm gonna get the Rex and ban this mon. But yeah, the tournament that I play in our Premier League, then Premier League, I mean it's just like a fun tournament. We shouldn't have called it Premier League because people Like it's not super like we have like really good plays in there, but it's not like the most competitive tournament to be honest. It's just um for like newer players or like players that don't have a chance to get bought in like Smogon Premier League. Oh, I got the stall guy. My man, my man career ended also played this guy early on the ladder and I think he's really bad. So it shouldn't be too too hard to beat him. As um, if I had taunt on my Coco, I would just wrap it up. Besides the Gliscor, um, so he just disconnects, he gets the lead wrong and disconnects. Really good job, stall kid. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, not really gets the lead wrong because you can just go for protecting and then go to Chansey, but like, I don't know why he disconnected. I tempted to get a second game. Because I'm really not feeling what this guy can do to me, like, at all. Like, I have the tools to win this game very easily. Okay, this guy actually has a cool looking team. It looks like a real team. I'm gonna check his rank to see if he's also a real player, or if only his team looks real. So he's 4 and 0. Oh. Okay, cool. Wait, Mency jumped my game. Oh fuck, Mency's like a guy for um, from Team Germany World Cup. Why are all these people joining? Fuck. So this is a real opponent. I'm gonna have to concentrate here. Enjoy your free elo. I mean, this isn't really free. This is probably some tryhard. I don't really know what to lead off with. Kind of like the Mew lead here. I mean, you can go to his own Mew, and we are both we are both would get burned. Then he's definitely not gonna stay in on a potential Ice Beam unless he's Scarf. If he's Scarf, he can just U turn out, obviously. Which on this team, I think this is Banter. His team looks fire. <laughs> the boy turned on mod join. <laughs> yeah, he's Scarf Lando. Yeah, his team is cool, like, honestly. So, yeah, this other guy just timed out. But I think I'm gonna cop a fat L in this game. I like his team a lot, and Benta. Benta gives me a headache already. I don't wanna play with that broke mod. <laughs> Why is he taking so long, though? Just go into your own Mew and trade, trade burns. Oh, you can also go on the pegs, I guess, if this was. 
I, I still... Like, I have been running off with me on a few teams. I just... Uh, I think I'm gonna change it to... Of power, because it just doesn't work out. There's a lot of times where your Mew gets burned, either from Synchronize or Lava Plume or stuff like that, or Scald. Or, um, Grass Turin is also a thing. So I might expect this Coco to be special because he brought it out. Uh, this could technically be Specs Coco. I'm gonna go Hard Garchomp though, because I just don't have a good play otherwise. If he Specs T Bolt, like, I have to sack something. I mean, if he goes for HPS, I'm fucked. He goes for a dozen game, good play, good play. And um, now he's gonna switch out into Lando. Or into Scizor Mew, something like that. Scizor Mew, Lando's, or, or his um, Mew, so I'm gonna go into my Coke. He has covered, covers all options. He made a nice mid ground and dazzling gleaming there. At first I wanted to soft but then I then I was like, what if he specs he's gonna blow me away? So I just made the made the guard jump play. So yeah, I really like the Coco play here. He's never U-turning here. He's never U-turning here. And we already know that he's Scarf Lando, so he's not Scarf Coco, that's not set. But yeah, I also wanna use the specs Coco on this ladder. Um, the next game I might actually use the team that I made with LL. He said it's bad, I haven't tested it yet. He said it's not that good. Um, like a two a month ago or two months ago we made some teams. Uh, I'm gonna HP eyes here. So we do catch him on the Landreth. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for a U-turn here, so... What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna go for U-turn on my own. Like if he goes for Earthquake, he catches me. But I have a Celestia right here. I have a Celestia right here. And I predict him to go for U-turn and go for my own U-turn, so I got that play correct. Whew, this guy is like he's like a good opponent, so like I think I have to make some juicy reads. I don't have to, but like a That was like a balls out play. That was like a risky play on my part. So we U-turn on this cheetah. We can go the Yancy here. Oh, we could have gone Celestia as well. And I can go for Earth Power. Actually, I can go for Rocks. Ooh, that's a fire play. Let's go for Rocks. I want to stay in regular form because I have more bulk then. Oh, wait. This is the only potential... Oh, no. Mew, Mew could be his Rock Setter. Mega Evolving is cool because... Hmm. Yeah, I want to stay regular form in case he stays in. He's banded. He's gonna do so much damage to me. I don't know. Yeah, I think staying regular form is better if he stays in. So I don't know why he made the scissor play, because I could have potentially HP fired there. I think he's just gonna U turn here, but I'm still gonna just go. I'm just gonna go into my. Um, Celestia, yeah, he can defog as well, that's a good play, but I don't know if he's defog scissor or defog thing. Yeah, so I, th I knew he would U-turn there, but I can't risk my DNC. I already risked my Coco earlier. <laughs> but this is a cool game, I like that I got like some competent opponent. Um, is that gonna rock or defog here? Mew is a, f Mew is a huge problem. I'm gonna go to my own Mew. Yeah, he throws up the rocks. That's why I should have made my DNC. Just gonna earthquake here. He, he can go Coco here, predicting my Wisp. So that's why I went for earthquake. Bop. And we get him on that, and he should die to burn and oh, sand ended. Never mind. So we can go for softball here. I actually like the hard guard on play, but I don't think he's spec, so we can go for softball, that's fine. It's Coco dies to rocks unless he defogs. Um, I don't think he specs because Dazzling Game didn't do that much to my jump. He goes for Roost, okay, so that was a good play on him. I think he's gonna U-turn here. Oh, I don't know if he has U-turn. This is really fucking weird. I don't understand this Coco set. I mean, I understand it, but like, Roost and Special, I just have never seen that set. So 
So I want to go into my packs here to poison his Mew. He misses a Wisp, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I don't go for Infestation. I mean, he has his own Toxic packs that he can just go out into. So I want to double predicting his packs, but if he, in case he stays in going for a Wisp, I like the Infestation play. Because then he's trapped and I can Toxic him. And let's see his like, Volts, which are U-turn. Start with Wisp and then Soft Bolt and... I don't know, Earthquake or... Psychic? Voltage? I don't know. I made another team uh, with Megalati and um, Nihiligo. I, th I like Nihiligo a lot, that one is cool. I'm gonna be using that too now a lot more when the Duggies on the Duggy or on the Arena Trip Suspect Ladder, not the Duggy Suspect Ladder. But yeah, he's trapped with me if, if I connect. Oh, never mind, Infestation can't miss. So now his Mew is trapped, which is amazing. We can get up a Toxic. And we can get up a Toxic Spike as well. And if he wants to Devog, the rocks are gone on my side. And he has Ice Beam only, so he can't touch me. Perfect. He can't even freeze me because he burnt me. I think going for T Spikes again now he has a Toxapex to absorb them. Never mind, there's no point in defogging for him because he absorbs them anyway, yeah. Yeah, there's no point. It doesn't make a difference if he defogs or now he can just go his own packs and absorb them. I didn't think there, but it's fine. So yeah, trapping Mew is kinda cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make the risky play of going hard chomp here. He might predict it, but like whatever. He roosts, okay, so. I'm at Earthquake here. He's probably gonna go into his Landris, but just in case he stays in. Uh, he can also go Scissor. But he doesn't know if I have a fire move. I still like the Earthquake play here. As he goes Landorus, fine play, fine play. And now he gets a free U turn. But I'm still gonna go Sadostila. This game is taking forever, <laughs> so I might just end the video. I think I might get one more after this. But yeah, if you win this, um, we are six and one, which is not the best because of that one lost to timeout. He does absorb the T spikes. Um, I can see him going for Scald or for his own T spikes here. I really want to go hard Coco, but it's so risky. So I might just lead sheet him. If he goes for T-Spikes, I might then go into my packs to absorb it. Hopefully he doesn't burn. He does crit me, but he doesn't burn me. Ah, uh, the terrain ends, so I don't want to go hard into thing on this turn. I'm going to go into my Mew, because if he burns me, he burns himself as well. Which is nice. Because it cancels out the cancels out the black sludge at least. I really like the earthquake play here. There's some decent chip to packs if he stays in, and if he goes Coco doesn't good damage. Everything else fears a will o wisp, so he doesn't really want to switch out. I mean, he can go Coco, but like he's gonna take a lot. Rock plus Earthquake plus Burn. Yeah, I really hope my audio is uh, recording and nothing is getting messed up because the other day I recorded for what you call it. I think he's gonna go Coco here. So I'm gonna Earthquake again. He stays in well. So I could have will wisp Fuck! I don't agree with his play there, but I guess he was willing to let his scissor get burned. Which I don't like that play at all. I mean, since I gets walled by my entire team, so I guess it made some sense. Oof. So we're gonna go hard guard jump again. He's probably gonna predict it this time. No, he doesn't predict it. And we're just gonna off quick again. Eventually, he's gonna stay in with his Coco. And like, his Lando doesn't really have. It only has like one more switch into rocks, so like after this, so it's fine. 
So he keeps getting some juicy momentum, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, I should have just will have wished that. That was a misplay on my part. Like, I, I, I understand why he stayed in, but I just saw that he would try to pivot into Coco. I just wanted to flex on him, but it didn't work at all. I had no reason not to worst there, I guess. So we are now gonna have you slam predicting him to roost here. As we do catch him. Playing a bit risky here. Um, I'm gonna go on our hard, hard guard jump. Ah, never mind, that's risky. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go hard guard jump. He's either gonna roost or he's gonna T bolt here. So he goes into Pex. Pex eats every hit. And then now that it rocks unless I defog. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Mew here and uh, soft build up. And I kind of want to defog for my chomp. The only reason why I don't want to defog is... That the rocks kill his opposing land or the rocks are nice for his Coco. Yeah, there's a close as fuck game. This feels like a tour game kind of because this guy is really solid. Gee, I'm gonna burn his scissor here because it's really getting it's getting annoying. It's doing too much damage with U-turn. I'm gonna defog the rocks away for now. His rock set has already dead his Mew, so defog is a fine play. I can still set up my rocks with my um, DNC. Now that his scissor is burned, I'm pretty sure my DNC can live a bullet punch later and um, go for HP fire. He's probably gonna go Coco here, and it's really annoying, but oh, it's Tita. Um, so we're gonna Will-O-Wisp him. If he's banned, Crunch is still gonna hurt. Thankfully, we connect our Mew is well trained. As that does a fuck ton, he's banned. No defense drop, uh, thankfully. Are uh, we only healing like 1% per turn? So if I get crits me, that's bad. Probably should just go into Coco, this is way too risky. Yeah, he got a high roll there. I should have switched when I had the chance. But now my Mew is super low. Um, we're gonna now go DNC here and try to get up our own rocks. He might predict it. He can go like Lander here, predict my DNC. That's fine with me if he wants to. Let him do that. Like, he's taking his time here, so I think he's gonna predict my switch, but it's fine. Uh, I enjoy this game a lot. Just it's just annoying that it's like it's like low ladder and like <laughs> this all just kind of ruined because of that game we lost the timer and then. but generally I like games like this where you have to think okay just let the timer run down and then he didn't even yeah we can just go for rocks here and I'm I run a calc real quick let me pause it. Uh, so bullet punch if he's burned, Cesar. How much does that do? Um, you are burned, my man. It does not. It does eighty to ninety-five. So it still is a roll in his favor. I think he's just gonna defog here. So I'm gonna go for hidden power fire. It might be a really bad play, but I think he's gonna defog here because he wants the rocks gone. Yeah, he doesn't go for bullet punch, and we catch him, and we pretty much win now. Because rocks are here to stay. He does go packs. We are just gonna. F oh, we don't have off power on this. We are special attack invested more than in attack, so Diamond Storm is not gonna do enough. He's gonna scald here. But yeah, I can sack off my Mew and then I can go into my. Then I can go into my uh, Tapu Coco. And yeah, Sumi's gonna sack off his Lando here, so I'm tempted to roost to flex, but there's no point. We can just go for a wild charge here. Yeah, if he, I think he just goes Lando here. But what what does he even do after that? Like he's just in a bad spot. His own Coco is like the only way that, that he can outspeed this. So he's probably gonna go to his own Coco after. Um, but I'm definitely not gonna go for my Zemo here. Um, just if he, like if he just sacks off the land here, I don't want to waste my Z move like that. And yeah, if this game keeps taking so long, I'm not gonna get another one. <laughs> because I wanted to make this video around an hour. So he goes in the T-Tar. 
You can just U turn out. You can go Toxapex here. He went for Pursuit, which was a cool play, but it didn't do much because he was burned at only 22. I can just set my um, Toxapex. I don't need it. I don't need it at all. So we do infestate him. This is just some crispy chip. Um, I should have hard guard from last turn. But yeah, we're gonna get him on the T bolt and we just click off quick and get a kill and yeah, this game is over. So yeah, this took super long, but yeah, I think this guy was a good player and that was a cool game. So we should have been undefeated the entire video, but that one lost the timeout. I mean, I can still, my internet can technically still die and I can lose the time. Okay, they forfeit. So, we're probably just gonna get some juicy chip points. We're not gonna get many points for this. Ah, uh, 22 points. So, we are now 6th and 1. 8th and 1. Oh, 8th and 1, okay. So, do I use a different team? Now I like that team and how it's been working out and the video's already been long. Uh, so we're gonna keep going with this. Just one last game guys. Um, oh Bishop Galate is looking uh, it's reminding me of Aurus kinda. Uh slash rank Kurt 93. Pretty trash, pretty trash rank. Nothing against my opponent. I mean, I have trash ranks on some of my alt as well. But that's also because I use Wild Heat. And... Uh, not having Ton of Coco sucks. I'd like to lead Coco here. But yeah, I'm gonna leave with Salus Dealer. Oh, we can just leech the DA, he's probably gonna like uh, switch into Zapdos. What I would like, what I like to do sometimes if I was him, I like to go into my Clefable on Celestealer because they always go for leech sheet and then I pivot into Zapdos on the heavy slam. <laughs> nice and juicy for it's not even necessary, but it's like a cool play. So he's Scarf Greninja. So that we get uh, information early on. His Bishop is gonna be Life or Dreadblade or Sash. As we do connect our leech seed, what we can do here is um You can go to our Mew and Deancy, I think Deancy is a better play. As he goes Feral Thorn. HP fire doesn't kill, but I don't know if Jarball kills if I stay in regular form. So let me calculate quick Feral Thorn versus uh Wait, why does HP fire do nothing? Oh because I called Because I called regular DNC, not Mega DNC. Uh, Jaro obviously of course, yeah, what am I saying? It's four times effective, right? Um, but let me say DNC Mega. Oh, that's HP Ice. Let's say HP Fire. HP Fire does 67, okay. Something. So I'm not gonna stay in here. Just gonna go Solo Stealer. So he just go. He does just go for power whip. I really want to double switch into um, something breaking his Zapdos, but I don't really have a reason to do that. In case he stays in flamethrower, is a fine play. He goes clef. Um, is he gonna try to pivot into Zapdos on a heavy slam? I don't know. He does go get up rocks, but he's willing to let his clef take a huge hit in the process. So we're gonna heavy slam again because I don't want to over predict and have him stay in. He goes Bishop. What the fuck is this guy doing? There's no counter. Bishop loses to this. I'm fist dev. I mean, he can knock off my lefties and it will definitely... Yes, that is definitely really annoying for me. But still. Oh, we got a lucky burn there. Whew. That sucks for him. So he goes in a zap those. We can uh, just go back. Um, Actually, we can go in the Mew here and defog. If he discharge Paras me, that's a bit annoying. But he does go in the Greninja. Um, U-turn doesn't do too, too much because this uh, is quite a defensive Mew. 
I uh, actually uh, I I forgot it's it's pretty it's actually qu kind of fast Mew, but yeah, um, Scarf Greninja is not that strong, and they are mostly invested in special attack. So we get off a defog here, and Farrowzone is just really annoying. Um, yeah, I think Will with is the play. He does get rid of my leftovers, um, which sucks for sure. If I went into the DNC there, I would have looked like a god. Nah, that, that wouldn't have done anything. So he does leech seat me, and now he's probably gonna get up his hazards again. I'm gonna go into my um, Seller Stealer here. And I'm really tempted to go for like Heavy Slam. But I'm gonna leech the Break the Zap those. If he goes Clavier breaking that, he gets more leftovers. That's why I'm tempted to go for Heavy Slam. Because if he tries to get his Clefable in on the turn where I go for Leech Seed, and he does that a few times, he can get his Clefable healthy again. But we do catch him on a Zapdos, so hopefully we connect. And we can protect here. Because I just like health on my Cell Stealer. And if he doubles, that's fine. Like So since we are not Spadev, I'm not gonna stay in. I'm just gonna go into the end. He played safe. I don't really have a reason to play aggro. He does make the Greninja play. So I'm expecting him to go for Hydro Pump or something like that. If he goes for U-Turn, go play, but I have no reason not to go into Toxic Packs here. So he does keep um, good play on his part. He does keep uh, he keeps U-Turning. That is actually a threat to my team. I want to kind of go hard into my um, Coco Printing SD. Yeah, Galate is a problem. I kind of have to sack something to this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go hard Garchomp because I don't really need my Garchomp this game and just get some damage on this. I can live any one hit other than Ice Punch. And I'm gonna just go for Earthquake here because I don't want the Clefable healing. If he goes Zapdos, he got me good. Hey, just, just go Ferrothorn, okay? Completely fine. Weakening Ferrothorn is what I want. Um, so... I'm gonna Earthquake again, just weaken this Ferro. Does hit his Leech Seeds and... This is why it's cool to have the NZ Mega Evolve, because then they always, they always think twice about Leech Seeding. Just with a Magic Bounce mod in the back. But yeah, we're gonna go into this. This step does work out for him. Nice play on his part. I don't know if he predicted that. Nah, no, it was just locked into Earthquake, so that was the free Zapdos of his life. I'm just gonna go the NC again. Like, this guy has been playing quite aggressive. Oh god, he gets a crit. So that crit does suck a lot, but it's fine because we get a huge Diamond Storm and something. If he goes Galate, he still has to win a speed tie. If he goes Pharos on, um, he obviously gets to it killed by Diamond Storm and the Moonblast or by HP Fire if I miss my Diamond Storm. Clef also. Is yeah, I we'll would probably sack the Pharos or the Clef if I was him here. Um, yeah, like hard galate is unnecessary risky and like you still have to win a speed tie if you don't have shadow sneak Which shadow sneak is not really a set, but I've played it faced it on a low ladder But yeah, this guy is quite competent actually despite the fact that this team looks a bit weird um, So we'll I like that a lot that we're playing like decent opponents in the last two games I would really like to know who that, who that guy was that Mancy like Mancy joined his game so like Man, he was on World Cup Team Germany, so it has to be like someone that he knows, I think. That guy turned a much and he got annoyed. Maybe he doesn't know him. So he does suck off his clef. Completely fine play on his part. But yeah, I don't know if I like mentioned this in this video, but the other day... I recorded Smog Tours for so long, but the, aud the audio is fucked up in part 1 and in part 2. Um, my, file is, um, my file is lost. And I just really hope that doesn't happen again ever. <laughs> my computer was like fucking up that day. Didn't do what I wanted to. But what I wanted it to. Um, I don't know why he ice beamed there. I guess in case I stayed in. Because he has been u the entire time, so I can kind of understand that play. Um, I think I can just go for infestation here. 
I assume he's gonna go Zapdos. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I can Toxic is Zapdos. Hard Toxic would have been good play as well. But I can eat up any hit, and I got my Black Sledge, and then I'm Spadev. So this is not gonna do too much. And Zapdos, which is super annoying for this team, is now getting worn down unless he discharged Para full Paras me, which would suck obviously. But he does. HP is expecting the Chomp for some reason. I uh, so I must stay in here and get up a T spike because I can eat up a discharge. And he crits me and I still did nothing, and but he gets the para. And if he defox, he gets rid of the spike, so that's completely fine. Um, I don't think I think he's gonna HP ice here, but Coco is overall my play. It can say it can eat any hit basically from this. Yep. I thought he would do that. I mean, I could have stayed in the flex, but that was too risky. And if he discharged, Coco was a fine mid ground play. Yeah, I don't really lose anything from clicking wild charge. The Ferrothorn, if it comes in, I take honest, like I take annoying recoil, but that's still fine. But yeah, I just just sack off his zap. So I don't really want to waste my Z move. Not that I need my Z move, so I could have wasted it there. Nah, Z move is nice because I think it kills Ferrothorn from 35. It obviously kills Galade. Not sure if regular Wild Shot will kill Galade because Mega Galade gets the. Uh, gets some defense when it Mega is like. Mega Galade has like trash defense. Mega Galade has decent defense and um, pretty good Spadef Imo. If I recall correctly and stuff. I haven't used that one in forever. But yeah, just from the few games that I have been playing on a Suspect Ladder, like 20 games so far on different accounts. Uh, really, really, like. Obviously it's suspect ladder, so it's still kind of... It's not super fun. It's hard to break these low ladder people. And like some people still bring like chief strategies like Veil, which is annoying to play against, but I haven't lost to Veil yet so far. Because usually on the low ladder they don't, they don't know how to abuse it or like... They make some mistakes. And what, what, what was my point? What was I trying to say? Yeah, overall I enjoy the meta game a lot, so like... With Dougie gone, it opens up a lot. Medjuna is actually broken as fuck, but I haven't used it yet. Like, you obviously have checks for Medjuna. Like, it's it's not... Uh, you can prepare for Medjuna, but like... With Dougie gone, you have to prepare even harder for Medjuna, I think. <laughs> but like, that's just how I feel. Uh, so we can go for Infestation, breathing his Tox, uh, Ferrothorn, exactly. And now we just get the Juicy Chip that we need. Since he's burnt, he can't really kill us. And we can go for recover here, as long as we don't get paralyzed. He does hit the leech sheet on us, but we still do some chip. Um, I'm completely fine with just one layer of T-Spike, so I'm just gonna spend recover here. As, uh, I, did get, I did lose my black sludge, which is a bit annoying. Oh, he only loses 2% every turn, so I don't really... I don't know if it was worth it to stay in there. Yeah, we're gonna go on a solid stealer here. Should have done it earlier. Um, was thinking about going the NC there. I didn't think he would spike. That was a bad play on his part. Not that it matters. I just flamethrower. Sec he's sacking off. Uh, we get a defense boost. Salastilla just wins the game from here. Because Scarf Grand can't do much. And we have to protect. Uh, like we have to tease back up. We can protect to see where he locks himself into. We get some chip. And he just can't touch me. Like, Dark Pulse is gonna bounce off, you guys are gonna see. It's gonna look like, um, maybe 28%. 26, that did nothing. So, no flinch. And we can just lead sheet again here, breathe in the Galate. We don't have to, but we can. And we do get the play correct. I actually could have Heavy Slam there. Heavy Slam was a better play overall, but... Yeah, now I just Heavy Slam. Because he had to bank on me protecting, like, to get an SD up. And yep, his Galate dies, and the game is over. And thank you guys for watching. I think I'm like 9 and 1 now. I would have been 10 and 0 if I didn't disconnect that one game that sucked. I mean, so technically I can still make Rex. But I would like to like go 20 and 0. So if you guys want this account, I guess you can hit me up and I'll give you the account. Because I don't really like it when I already have a loss in the account. This early on. But it's, it's, it's still fine as long as I keep my win. If I keep a win streak up. Thank you guys for watching. Um. I'm kind of speechless. Uh, it's like late at night. 
But overall, I'm feeling better today. I got more sleep and everything. Still got some, a little bit of personal issues going on, but it's, it's a bit better. Um, so yeah, I play Count Riario this week from our chat. Um, I'm still not too sure what to bring versus him, but we shall see. Man, he's probably watching this video and scouting me. <laughs> it's fine, he can scout me all What You can scout me, I don't really give a fuck. Um, like he's um, not a bad player, so it's not gonna be easy. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are following our Den Premier League. You can, you can check out my Discord. Just hit me up on Discord. My Discord is at Darkwitch, hashtag five eight thirteen. If you if you're not in it yet, you can PM me and if you want to be invited. We have like three hundred people in our chat, but I think a lot of people are inactive. But we have like a good amount of people that are active and we have like daily calls and stuff. We always hang out there. Mm. We play Brawlhalla, it's really fun. I might upload that as well again. But yeah, the main thing that I'm focusing on at the moment is obviously getting Rex. But um, I'm gonna, at the moment I'm just laddering a little bit. And the second week I'm gonna go for it. Like usually I don't ladder much and then the second week I just go all in a ladder four hours in a row one day and just get my Rex. Um, and yeah, ulti playoffs is going on, you guys know that I've uploaded every match so far. I don't think there was a game today, I think the next game is on like Thursday. So that's gonna be coming live on my channel. Um, if my internet dies, which happens sometimes, just randomly, as you guys saw in this live, it happened. I have one fast internet and one slow internet. So when an ulti game happens, I have to make sure that... What should I call it? That I go downstairs where I have my second internet, so if the fast internet dies, I still have a backup. So that you guys don't miss anything. Because uh, for, the, for the Meeps vs. Such the Rest game, um, I was kind of missing like a lot of the game. Also because of internet issues. So I'm gonna make sure that, I gotta make sure that that doesn't happen again. But yeah, um, what are you guys using on the on the suspect ladder? I, I only wanna have to build with Banta next and I have to build with Hoopa. And I want to abuse this UU mods. Let me see if the UU if the UU allows me to use these mods now. Please update the UU letter. Man, still didn't update. Scum. I mean, <laughs> pretty sure that this mod and this mod is gonna get banned anyway. But I wanted to use them, man. I don't know how to title this video. Attempt to ladder for UU, but then it doesn't work, so I just ladder for OU. But yeah, if you guys have cool teams for the uh, suspect last ladder. You can leave them in the description or on my Smogon wall or um, hit me up on Discord. Like I said, Darkwish hashtag 5813. Uh, have a fantastic day. I'm gonna be uploading a little bit more. Rex, not sure if I'm gonna get Rex on this all, like I said. I might give this all the way. Um, I'll just see if I like, keep going pretty well and I'm like at 22 or 21. I'm obviously gonna keep this all. But yeah, peace out, guys. Um, I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes I just feel like talking, like if you watch all my videos you know this, sometimes I just keep talking and I can't, I don't come to an end, that my video just, <laughs> it was supposed to end like 3 minutes ago but I just keep talking for, because I feel like I had to like, say, like give some more info, I don't know, because during the games, sometimes I just talk about the games, which um, I know like a lot of people like what Blunder does, he doesn't only talk about what happens in the game, he also talks about like his life or what he likes to do and I, that's like really cool, I should start doing that as well. Even though I'm not really, I don't think I'm super entertaining but like I'm somewhat entertaining. Most people are just probably sub to me because I do all the tournament games, which is completely fine. The Insurgents Let's Play that I'm doing doesn't really get many views but it's still fun for me. But yeah, I can really go on, like I can keep talking for 20 minutes and what? I'm wild like that. Have a fantastic day. And Doc with Jal. And please leave him some juicy Hooper or Tyranitar teams if you have them. I only have one. And it's not really tested. I don't know how good it is. But yeah, goodbye. Finally, I finally am in the intro. <laughs> Outro. Goodbye.